Let's bring in the host of The Watchman, Middle East analyst Eric Stackelbeck, and the Foreign Desk Editor-in-Chief, Lisa Daftari. Welcome to you both. So, Eric, to you first, at least we finally sent a message to Iran. But, you know, General Jack Keane, among others, thinks that this message should be a lot bolder and a lot louder. What do you think? Uh, Trace, I think uh, about time is the big statement here. You know, the Biden administration keeps saying it wants to avoid a wider war in the region. That's why it's held back from striking these Iranian-backed militias in Iraq, why it's held back from striking the Houthis in Yemen. And yet, war is upon us. A a war is upon the U.S., upon Israel, whether the Biden administration likes it or not. We Mm -hmm. didn't declare it, but the Iranian regime, through its proxies, is attacking U.S. interest in the region, Trace, on literally a daily basis. And the Iranian regime only understands the language of force, understands a strong horse. So today was a welcome development, the strike in Baghdad, but much more is needed. Yeah, it's a well-made point, Lisa, because, you know, you look at the Houthis and they just keep firing at these Mm -hmm. ships in the Red Sea and it's hurting commercial traffic. It's hurting the economy in that area. I mean, it's a problem. Right. It's a problem. And the thing about deterrence is it doesn't start in the battlefield. It starts at the podium, at the White House with our foreign policy. And obviously they haven't gotten the message when they continue to poke and poke and poke and try to provoke and bring the Biden administration into another war, bring the United States into another war. There has to be a clearer message. For three years, there has been a message message of coddling, of emboldening, taking the Houthis off the terror list Mm -hmm. when they're in fact a terror organization. Four weeks into the Biden administration, they took them off, removing vital sanctions off of Iran's regime when we know for a fact that they're enriching uranium, they're going after a weapons program, their human rights abuses back at home. They continue to fund terror proxies. And here we are. Yeah. Uh, John Kirby was asked about the Houthis today, uh, Eric, and he said this. Watch. The Houthis are doing it in the Red Sea. Uh, we don't telegraph our punches one way or another, but uh, we take these attacks very, very seriously. The impact that they're having uh, on international commerce and, uh, and free shipping. Uh, and we're going to keep doing what we need to do to protect their interests. And you have some critics saying they're not telegraphing their punches, Eric, because they're not throwing enough punches. Uh, Trace, exactly. And the Biden administration keeps saying this is purely a, quote, defensive operation in the Red Sea. So we will not go on the offensive against the Houthis, Mm -hmm. but we're just strictly playing defense. Exactly the wrong message. That only emboldens the Houthis and, by extension, their masters in Tehran, the Iranian regime. Trace, I'm astounded that it's been able to go on this far Mm -hmm. to the point where BP and Maersk, major companies, are saying, hey, we're going to avoid the Red Sea because of the Houthis, and that's going to have ripple effects on the global economy, including right here in the United States, if it continues. Meantime, that major explosion in Iran this week that killed more than 100. Lisa, now ISIS is claiming responsibility. And as soon as they jump out and claim responsibility, you think, really? Are you buying this ISIS? Should we believe ISIS? Should we believe Hamas? Should we believe Iran's regime? The answer is no. Take it with a grain of salt. Two things I will say is that there have been times where ISIS has claimed responsibility, where they had no participation. They're always willing to get the credit. Uh, And there have been many times where Iran's regime has thrown down false flags to divert attention, to get world sympathy, to blame it on other people. So... Look at Iran's regime and uh, always question and be very, very, very suspicious. As soon as, as soon as they started saying, you know, maybe this is ISIS, I thought, yeah, give them five minutes. ISIS is like, oh, yeah, we're still here. It was us. Right. Oh, we definitely. And yeah. thanks to social media, they can put it out there. Exactly. And the media jumps on top of it. Yeah, so, very true. Uh, Lisa Daftari, Eric Stackelbeck, thank you both for coming on. Well, coming